to the little big circle show where we're little in size and big in conversation. And I am your host, Peggy. And I'm your co-host, Judea. And today we have a wonderful panel full yes. of people of all ages. And um, we're talking about what makes you attracted to the opposite sex or to whoever you're attracted to. So <laughs> we're going to dig right into this one. Yes. Um, and ladies, first, we're going to introduce the panel. So go ahead, Tessie, introduce yourself. I am Tessie. I am from Ohio. I live in Las Vegas. And... Um, I'm happy to be here. Yay! Really happy to see you. Y'all know mom. your boy. We back. It's a repeat um, all day, every day. Uh, I'm from uh, Alabama, by the way of the ATL Shouty. <laughs> all right, three musketeers. Let's hear it, guys. Uh, my name is Adriel. I'm uh, from Meriden, Connecticut. Um, Tony. My name's AC Woodbury. Um, I'm also from Meriden, Connecticut. I'm happy to be on the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm, Qu I'm Quaku. I'm from Meriden too. I'm 20, and yeah. I just love the name Quaco. Like oh. I can say that all day. Quaco, 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 Quaco. Right. <laughs> like, <oatmeal. Like>, yeah. <laughs> all right. So okay. I'm Judea. I'm from Connecticut, but I live well. This, this question always gets me. So I live in Atlanta, but I'm living in Huntsville so I can live again in Atlanta. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And my name is Peggy, and I'm from New Haven, Connecticut, but I am I live in Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. Okay. So diving right in. Um, the inquiry up minds want to know. We, we want to get in there yes. and see what you guys like to see and the people that you want to date or court or smash, as you three would probably say. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> go right to it then, Jadir. I mean, you know. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Well, ladies, ladies first. first. Ladies, ladies first, first. Always. Yes. All right, Tessie. Are you okay? So if I'm smashing, then oh. I need to see some health insurance because I need to know you take yourself to the doctor and get it checked out. <laughs> I mean, that's real facts because I'm not trying to walk away with um, anything I didn't walk into it with. So right. that's um, pretty important. Like actual health insurance that you use. Like I need to see your insurance you card with some doctor receipts because I need to know that you care about yourself enough to care about the people you are smashing. Mm. And then, I, I like mean, there's that. a lot of stuff other than that, but that that's generally where I start. Okay. So what's the other stuff? We want to know the other stuff, too. But that's, that's um, priority number one. What's the other stuff? Like, how do you take care of yourself? Looks are important because I want to see you with the lights on. And, you know, okay. Okay. It's like, but you need to be smart enough to have a conversation about something intelligent. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not a smasher. I don't just like smash and pass or, <laughs> or I don't know what you call it when you just randomly smash people. So I don't do that. I mean, I like to um, know somebody that I can talk to forever. And like, even after we break up, you had to like bring something good to the table so that when I think about how much I don't like you, I'm like, I cannot stand him except for that one thing he taught me or, yeah, you know, right. how he motivated me to do better. I believe that anybody you deal with should push you to better. And um, if they're not pushing you to better, you should probably leave them alone. All those know. kinds of things. Um, I don't know. Like I said, have some motivation about yourself other than trying to um, smash, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Adria. Oh, um, could you say the first question one more time? What is it that you look? What do you look at uh, with a girl when you look to have a relationship with her? Well, I mean, yes. When I'm, if I'm looking, I mean. I'm definitely looking for, I'm looking for looks first. I, I am. I, I can't be with an ugly girl. I can't. Um, and then after that, she has to have a good mental, you know, she can't be crazy. But I don't know. That's, uh, that's kind of hard to find. <laughs> they all be a little bit crazy. But And then, yeah, she do have to have a job for sure because 
I don't want to keep. I mean, even though like yeah, taking a girl out that's that's good. You know, that's how I was taught. But then like you know, I want to be taken out too sometimes too. Exactly. Look at exactly. You. <laughs> And you want her to have some money too, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, light skin in the middle, come on. All right, can you repeat the question one more time? What do you look for in a girl? In a girl, girls period? Are, girls are your thing, right? So I don't want to see all, it's, it's girl. Oh. It's girl, it's girl, nah, it's girl. Nah. Okay, I'm being serious. I'm being, I don't want to assume. I'm being serious. I was, I was being serious. Smashing, not, not, not. You know if we're talking about smashing or like just girl. or just girls in general, like just oh, nah, like if you want to just smash a girl, if you want to just you know you see okay. a girl all over to smash versus we can talk about that too, like versus okay. having so, a girl that you see that you're like I think I can actually wife her up. Yes. Okay. So if I'm if I if I'm looking for a girl to wife up, first of all, like Adriel said, it looks is going to be important. Um, we just live in a, a digital age. Like no matter what you say. Oh, looks don't matter. I mean, it just, I can't be in public with someone that's like, you know, hate to say it, but ugly. Um, wow. Again, someone and, thought you were ugly. Wow. <laughs> hey, someone has called me ugly. That's my point here. Like, we got to okay. eye for an eye here. Like, um, so, and the mental is very important. Um, she's got to be like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, I'm stuck here. <laughs> she's got to be. That was oh, I'm stuck. intelligent and Intel, not intelligent, but like she has to be. Um, all right, we're just gonna go with intelligent. She has to challenge me mentally. Um, I gotta be able to conversate with her, connect with her. Um, because that obviously makes everything easier. Um, nowadays, a lot of it is, is sex. Obviously, people want to smash and pass, but like my boys know I'm a, I'm a lover boy, like I, I don't like just smashing and pass i like to be able to connect with the girl and that makes everything like such a smash and it makes it more natural and easier in my opinion that's true so yeah the, the mental the looks um she's definitely got to have a job too because i'm not i like an independent woman like i don't want to have her ask me for everything i'm good on that i got i got younger nephews and nieces for that you know yeah well, you know what? I I just want I know I want to just throw something out to you guys right now. I know Jamal is ready to come in and tell y'all something. So I'm just uh, <laughs> I just want to know: should you date an older woman or should you take date a younger man or woman? Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. See, that's a good one. See, cause okay, wait, so. wait, hold your horses. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to um. Jamalo, and then Quaco, we're gonna save you for last. Oh yeah, Quaco, gotta get Quaco. <laughs> so uh, to answer the first question about what I look for, uh, okay. I think the older I get, um, I understand that looks uh, it's gonna fade, but the <laughs> relationship that you have with the person and the establishment that you have with the person will always last. Uh, I ain't down with that, that smashing uh, because here it is. Oh, smashing and passing. I, I know that's right. The smash, but don't smash have and pass. to maintain the relationship. So we have to check why are we being so confident just to look at a fine butt or look at some lips or look at some breasts. But when it comes down to conversation, we don't have that same confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that uh, that's part A of my question. Uh, what I actually look is partnership. Like, uh, I, I'm a different dude. I Don't treat me like I'm regular because I'm different. Mm -hmm. um, so walking with you in life, I got goals and mm -hmm. we can have goals together. But once I express my goals, either you're going to get on the train or you ain't going to be on the no train. But that, that whole goal mentality, destiny, purpose, Legacy. I, I'm 37. I can't be around here. I, I want to leave something to children when I have to, and their grandchildren, and folk generations down the road. Legacy. Second question. Uh, I have dated both. An older, same age. Oh, and, wow. <laughs> uh, Say no more, huh? But... But, um, 
you know, with with older women, just my experience, some want the thrill of a younger man, but don't want the wisdom of an old man. Uh, with younger women, they you know that whole sugar daddy mentality. With the same age, you know, hey, but I view women as uh, we should be a good gift to each other. You, hey, you are the prize. I'm chasing you. You don't got to chase me. I'm chasing you. So that's why I'm at with it. All right. Sounds good. What's your name again? Quaco. Come on, let me hear you. Yeah. I'm right here. So to start off, I'm obviously the looks, but also it's the girl's mentality. Not mentality. Like she can't want to be like, like leeching off of me because that's not happening. <laughs> um also you hear I that, like ladies you hear that <laughs> feel no, no leeching no <laughs> that's not happening that's definitely not happening uh, also i like a girl that like she knows how to communicate so for example mm -hmm. if there's a problem she's not gonna you know like be petty and do all this petty stuff she could just come to me and we just talk about it and get it over with because like a lot of girls these days social media. they like to go to social media they'd rather vent to finsta and all that and make yeah make like a big scene when we could just like, you know, figure it out on our own type stuff. So I like a girl like that too. Uh, you know, she gotta have something going for herself, a, a job, something. She can't just be like sitting home doing nothing. Like, like she gotta have something going for herself. Or partying. Yeah, or partying. Well, I mean, it's, it's okay to go to parties, but like if you're going to party every single like weekend, like, oh, wow. that's, like that's like a turn off. That's a turn off for you. So yeah, that's, the that's, age limit, should it be older or younger? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I've done both too. I've dated older and younger, and okay. I would have to say, I, I t like honestly, it depends on the girl because like it depends on like how the girl is mentally and if she knows like what she's doing in life. Because some girls be confused, like for real, and yeah, it just depends. But I would say, if it came down to it, I would say to go older okay how about you light skin older or younger so i'm gonna be honest this gener like our generation has it tough like we deal with these the females our age are just so driven by social media and what they look like to social media and what they look like to their friends and so we kind of have it tough we deal with you know the immaturity and i'm gonna post this and do this to to get this reaction kind of thing but um I was just telling Adriel the other day, it's funny, like, I, I kind of want an older woman, like, a woman, though, because, like I said, the girls our age are so immature, and they'll, they'll do things out of pettiness, and in the end, they'll hurt you, like, they don't, and they don't see that, so, like, if I would say, if I had to answer you, I'd definitely say go older, I mean, I want to, even, like, 30 years old, I'm 21, I'll even go up to, like, 30, like, just for that maturity, it's, it's, it's something that's rare these days in the, in the females in this generation. Adrian? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with – see, all right, I'm going to say 50-50, only because it just depends if you're willing to deal with stuff. Because, like, yeah, you can go with the younger – well, like, for me, I'm not going to say younger because I'm only 20, so I don't want to go younger than 18. But um, <laughs> you can, you can like, help – yeah, you can, like, help oh, build them, you know, but you're going to have to deal with a lot. But I'm going a, I'm to a prefer an older girl only because, like, you know, uh, out of the experience, uh, Jadia don't listen, but um, out of experience, uh, older women really like, again, they're mature. Most of them have jobs, you know, they're out of their parents' house, you know, so like, you got like, it's, it's kind of like a, a person to kind of look up to in a way from my age and to help, like, I don't know, like speed up the process because I mean, I, I can't. Get like, no, I'm saying like, <laughs> I'm saying like, speed up. Don't, don't. I'm saying like speed up. I'm saying like speed up in the sense of like, I don't know because, like, I'm in school. I'm with other other kids that hang out. We go to parties. You know, older women are they're they're going out, but they're not going because especially if they have a child. If they have a kid, they have to think about their child. They gotta. They can't stay out late all the time. So you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna say an older woman for sure. So, so, the, so what I'm, so what I'm, I'm listening to right now is that you feel that an older woman is like security. 
for sure. Ooh, yeah. You know, it's some That's security for you. You know, and um, you looking for that security instead of enjoying your 20 year olds and doing what 20 year olds do. Because as, a woman, yeah. as a woman, you understand what I'm saying? And we was 20 once before, you know, I was and I was like, I was, you know, wild and crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I understand. <laughs> but I did look for older guys. Uh, it, I would never date someone my age. You know what mm. I'm saying? So with that, Tessie, what do you prefer, older or younger? So um, I prefer to not raise up a child in the way they should go. So I'd never try to look at younger guys because I don't have oh time to be being somebody's mom and giving them security and all that. I have like, and I think part of the reason why is because I was 19 when I had my first child. So I've been somebody's mother my whole adult life. I am not trying to sleep with someone who is looking at me to support them. Like, I need you to have been through some things so that you okay. understand. Go to your mama with that and come to me, you know, That's with amazing. other stuff. Yeah, like, in a relationship, it should be even. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm all the way grown, so I don't have, I don't have that energy for younger people. But I also don't want them to be too old because I got a dad, so it's like, yeah. Somebody gotta be there. A, a little, there. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like you I wanna know? I want somebody to like you grow get, with. You still don't don't act like you can't get your freak on still. You understand I mean, what I'm saying? Hey, young men are good for some things. Yes, they are. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, if I was in the smashing and passing, I'd be looking at some young guys like, hey, how fresh are you? Because I can teach uh -huh. you some tricks to carry on, but yeah. like when I'm looking for an actual relationship, yes. I'm looking for somebody who's like, okay, I'm ready to build and grow and let's build together, let's set yes. some goals yes. and let's reach them. And also, there's no more babies here, so that's why I leave young guys alone. All right, all right. All right. So what? So what, um, guys? You guys have some older, some older people here. What questions? You have a old you have three older women you have a wonderful older man jamarlo was he's wisdom on a i'm oh. gonna say wisdom on a stick but he's not on a stick <laughs> on that level <laughs> on that level of uh um, <laughs> what what insight would you like to know i got a question go ahead so, so i work i work in an amazon warehouse and like there's a lot of there's a lot of older women around me I'll go in there with a tank top on every now and then, and I get some looks, like some stares. But I kind of, I kind of get frightened by it because these women are like 30, 30 plus years old. <laughs> so my question is, like, what do women like? Is it is it common for older women to look down on like twenty year olds like that? Like, I just, I don't want to step out there and say something and then, like, she find it disrespectful. But it's like you know that look when you get that look, kind of thing. Like, I don't. What? When you say look down, what does look down mean? Um, wait, how do I, so like, I don't want her to look down on me like, what are you doing? Like, you're weird. As as an older woman, I don't want her to like, look at me as a joke because I'm 21 years old. But like, so I'm just asking, saying... is, it, is it common for older women like that to to kind of prey on younger guys? Yes. Mm. Also, the so no, they'd be looking at you, you like fresh meat, like oh, yes. like yes. yes. Oh okay. yes. <laughs> if I wasn't this, <laughs> go on, I mean, go ahead. You can find. I know some older women who have got with some younger men who have taught them some things, and I'm like, I applaud you for teaching this young fella, this little whippersnapper, you know. <laughs> um, but the whole thing is, you have to be careful because the same way there are young men who prey on older women like oh i'm looking for security i need a place to stay you got a job so i can come over your house and eat up all your snacks right right go all so, it goes both ways like if you are going to deal with somebody you need to be up front and say you're just trying to smash because you know i can work you out we or, can work you, know, you what with is the it? smashing right or what is it that you're looking for because some 
like I know I am a looker. I will look at anything that pleases my eyes. That's why I like going to the gym. Okay. <laughs> so I like going to the gym. gym. <laughs> <laughs> That, it's oh just the thing. God. It's like when you see something that looks good, you just want to look at it. You look, That's and it. if you're feeling objectified, then say, "Hey, stop." All right. I mean, unless you like it. Like, if you like it, and you're like, "Well, let me see if I can brush up on her." Be honest, yeah. right? Honesty is always the best policy. Yeah. The <laughs> the the more honest and genuine you are, the better, especially with a woman. Always give a woman the option to say yes or no, right? Don't yeah, just assume don't and assume. be like, either they're going to say no or I know they're going to say yes. Always give them the option. You never know where that can lead you in life. And it, and, and if it feel uncomfortable to you when a woman, does, you know, if you feel uncomfortable anyway, that's 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 the cutoff note. Well, you know, that's what the Holy Spirit tells us. That's yeah. the cutoff note. If it's uncomfortable, it's not good for you, that's you know? Right. And you can say, can you stop? Undressing me with your eyes, you know? <laughs> you know, clutch my pearls. Like, leave me she's alone. Gonna laugh. She, she's yeah, gonna she laugh. Yes, she is. She's laugh. gonna laugh. But she'll probably if she like you. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, any more? Uh, any more me, questions, Jamala? Jamala? Let me slide this in here real quick, like I'm sliding in DMs. Um. So. Slide in the DMs. I, I will say Where's this. Where's my pearls? Uh, women. Older women will prey on you if you looking like a sweet tenderoni, as Bobby Brown would say. <laughs> Listen here, Adria, that you can get get pulled into. But as a man, you have to think about this: Are will I be able to be equal with you if I if I get pulled into this web with you? Because they could end up sucking you dry, and then when somebody, the person that actually is going to come to help you, they're going to have a lot of pieces they got to work through with you. Because you weren't ready for when it came. They'll end up saying it was an entanglement, and you'll be feeling like. Uh, <laughs> oh, not the entanglement. You'll be not feeling like, uh, what was his name? Will Smith. August. Or the August, whatever. August, August Alcina. Alcina. You don't want to put yeah. yourself in the August Alcina position, and you he heartbroken works. and. The older woman say it was just an entanglement. Okay. I just what is it? What do you say? Smash and pass? Cause older women will do that too. You honey, eat you up like a piece of meat, spit you out. <laughs> and then they'll eat you up, spit you out, nurture you back together just to do it again. <laughs> oh, women are not playing. I'm telling you, trust me, because I know some actual grown men who still look at me like really, and I didn't even do it on purpose. All right. <laughs> I thought that was good. All right. You gotta be careful. Oh man. It happens oh, accidentally. Man. It does. But see, that, see, that, that is why, like me personally, I'm at a point in my life now where I am not looking for a girlfriend anymore. Like that's it's done. It's just gone. Like I, I just, I just been, I, like you said, I ain't really been through much. I'm only 20. I ain't really been through nothing. But what I have, the little bit I did, I, I don't want. It's do enough anymore. for you. I'm going I'm to wait a good another six years. That way, when I do talk to the older women, they're not older no more. They're my age. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just well, smash you do know women continue to age, so the same yeah. women. No, no, no. I'm saying, though, I'm saying, though, like, the, the women my age now will be developed by No, them. they won't, honey. No, they won't. If you're just running around smashing broads, all you're going to get is some old bras that's been smashed. Like, Bitter. they're not going to change. <laughs> they are going See, to be horrible, I'm... terrible individuals by the time you get to 26. They're going to be bitter. They're going to have somebody's babies. They might have some diseases. These are not going to be these fresh little, sweet, mature things. The that you're thinking. But the, yeah. That's why I, that's yeah why they I are not green bananas. I'm really convinced I'll be single forever, to be honest. Like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's really not am. God's I plan. Really I'm so convinced. You, won't, you just got to know how to look for a woman, a girl, a woman, yeah. and what to look for. Looks are not everything, honey, because half of these looks now aren't even real. It's not. That, <laughs> that booty will right. deflate. Yes. That booty will deflate. The face will come right. off. The hair will be gone. And you'll yeah, be looking it. like... Ooh. They take eyelashes off, eyebrows. Right. Adri, you, you know, to... I try to keep oh, you yeah. hit. Oh, no. I Find know. you a girl who you see first thing in the morning, 
like you go over and take her to breakfast on a surprise and she looked like whoever you see when you met her. Well, like, <laughs> see, when I say when I say when I say looked good, like to me would look good. I don't like girls with makeup, period. Like I don't like that at all. Good. I don't like I don't like that. Good. I don't like fake I don't I'm not even gonna keep going because Judea gonna hurt me. She gonna beat me up, but still. That, that's this not is what not I this is not Jadia's show just I, by herself. Okay. So you just keep going because you're I, not just I talking love, to Jadia. I'm gonna call you. I no, love, look, love you're not just talking to Jadia. You're talking Tell to your a host. Right, you right. Talk, yeah, you right. You right. You right. I'm talking to the host. <laughs> yes, uh, and no. the audience. People are listening yeah, and, and want to yeah, learn yeah. something. So be honest, Adrian. Well, what kind of women? Quay got something to say. He want to say. So I feel like he's saying he's saying that because like. Us, we have seen, we have seen like there's like trends and patterns that like we keep going through where it's like a yeah. female is doing this and a female is doing that, causing us not to like trust. We can't trust any female now. So, Aww. like, this yeah, generation. That's how, it's our it's, babies. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, bad, it's, bad the, it's, it's bad that the babies are going through this. Like, honestly, it's bad. Like, I would find out girls, a girl that I've dated, and honestly, and it wasn't my fault that we broke up. I would find out stuff that happened a year ago. Like, I don't talk to her no more. I found out more stuff, like, that I I was just appalled. Like, it's just, it's the same pattern. Same thing, it same thing. It's like same a trend. Thing. Like, and so yeah, are you, you finding, type of girl, are but, you taking time to find out who you are and who you want? Because that's the problem. A lot of people jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. And like every year you should find out something new about yourself and you should change. Like people say, oh. I've been the same person since I was 18. And it's like, I don't want that is a problem. You better yeah, grow. Uh, let me, it's, let more me like, it's more like we're well, so used to it. Let me add this in here. Um, there is thing, there's a thing called the law of attraction. Yes. Uh, we can end up attracting things based on where we are in our life. So if you end up attracting a girl, she look good on, on the surface level, but she got some junk going on. Now you and messed around and smashed her. Now you got all this stuff going on. And you keep going through the same pattern in the cycle because your bait is still the same. You have not sure. took the time to say, let me change this worm into a grasshopper and maybe I'll get something different. Mm -hmm. But if I keep giving the same play out there, the same play going to give me the same same thing, same catch. I want something different. Change your bait. Change your bait. Even when they, right even, even, right. when they come, even when they come on to you, like, let's say they come on to you, like, you're just you're just chilling. Like, you're chilling. You're not thinking about a girl. You're thinking about your money. You're thinking about your future. And a girl comes on to you. You're not really you're not really, like, giving it the entire, like, attention but you're just feeling it out. So they call it the talking stage. I don't know what y'all call it because y'all older, but we, we just talk. What, what you call it? What you call it again? Like, we're just talking. Like, we're, like we're talking. Like, we just say we're, we're, just, we're just talking. So we're talking. So for me, that's, like, one of my one of the recent issues that have been, like, we're talking, and I'm not smashing or fast because, like, that's not really me. Like, that's not me. That's something that developed through heart pain, whatever you want to call it. Yes. But. So if I'm talking to you, my whole thing for me is I don't I don't talk to anyone else. It's just you. Like that's just that's it. But the the girl is still smashing and, and talking to other ones. And you find out, you know, little things, or even they'll tell you straight up, like I did this, that, and the other. Like, what do you do at that point? Uh, like I'm blown away. I don't know what I, I don't know what to do. So I'm asking y'all, that's one of the questions. Am I right? Um, oh man. You're gonna close man. us out on this note. Yeah. Um, so so with that, there has to be a level of understanding that we're only talking to each other in exclusive nature. Um, if we are talking, uh, we need to have a conversation. Hey, I want to just talk to you and you not talk to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. And then once once the smashing gets involved, uh. you and I will play yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the good thing about what I did. I, I didn't even I didn't even smash. It was a good two months. Didn't do nothing. Just straight talking. Just hanging out, getting to know each other, knowing her family. I met the mother, the fan, like the whole family. Is this it's the like, girl at the park that had the boyfriend? No, that's another one. That's a uh, different girl. Yeah, <laughs> Jadia. 
I'm, I'm like, trying to get some understanding. This, this is a this is another story. This is a two month. Like I give people chances. It's not like I go around just you know smash smash smash. It's like I give you chances and like from the from the two years I've been dating, like I I just don't do it no more now. Now I just hang up chill. Okay, like, so when you was dating this person for two months. You smashed her at two months in a day. Well, no, no, the no two smashing. the two months the two months was just talking. We were just talking. And then, okay, but did you ever smash it? No. Okay. So well then, no. so so you don't have nothing to worry about when you start smashing. Then you are dealing with a whole different spirit. But I, but okay? I'm saying like but I get your question. I get your question. And did you say, hey, are we exclusively talking to each other? Or did yeah. you think you were exclusive? It was, no, it was solidified. It was that was it was there. Oh, the well, conversation see, was me. It was good that you didn't smash because she wasn't that for you. Know. Like that's it. Right, right, exactly. That's why I didn't. And then I just I cut her off, stopped responding, stopped talking to her. Yeah, you just you have are. to find different people. Like, where are you meeting people? And that's the thing. Like you say, oh, I go out and meet people, and I go out and meet people. Sometimes you just gotta not go out and. Like, people ain't going to come to your house and knock on your door like, oh, I'm just God sent. I'm nah, yeah, waiting for that. that. It's never happened, but. <laughs> but see, that's why campus, like, see, on, on campus, like, from from experiencing living on campus, too, mm. a, a campus female is, or even male, is just not, you just shouldn't do it. Don't try to date. Don't do it. Because the temptation is there. Like, and we're yeah. young, so it's there. Mm. Don't, like, I just feel like that is a decision that is just not smart. Because no matter what, it's gonna happen. I don't care how long it's gonna take, but it will. Like they're gonna do something with someone else. Whoa! I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm that sorry. Hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm hurt. sorry. Whoa, whoa, it's gonna whoa, whoa, whoa. happen. It, it and I've been right every time. No, no, no. All right. See, it's because the girls that he been messing with. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. But like I said, we've been seeing like a trend, but that doesn't mean like. Every girl. Ninety. I, I give ninety percent. I give like, them ninety percent. Like it depends on. The girl, like, I don't know. Like, some girls are, like, real, like, sneaky. But, like you guys said, you just have to find the right person. You're right. Yeah, they're yeah right. right. But, <laughs> but on campus, though, I'm not going to lie. On campus, you can't do that. <laughs> there are good girls on campus. Right. But there is there is temptations. And, like, if you're not there and, you know, stuff happens. Like, well, on the good end, you guys are still young. And, yeah. and you have a lot That's of living to do. Yeah. Yes, true. We are going right. to cut the conversation right there. Yes. And we want you to tell our audience a bet you didn't know question. That's our little game. So what we're going to do, we're going to say, I bet you didn't know. And you're going to tell me, tell us something we didn't know about. You understand? Okay. One thing about you that we didn't you know. Wait, one thing. Ready? Go, Tessie. Bet you oh, didn't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on topic, I bet you didn't know I've never had a one night stand. All right, well, Jamalo, bet you didn't know. I bet you didn't know on topic that I was a virgin when I got married. Woo, Burley, I got married. Yes, yes unicorn. Yes, all right. Um, Adria, bet you didn't know. Uh, I bet you didn't know that I. Only like black women. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a- All right. Bet you didn't wow. know. I bet you didn't know light skin. See, I bet you didn't know that I was a virgin up until my sophomore year of college. Oh, nice. Oh, All right. Bet you didn't know. Quaco. Uh, <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. I lost, I lost my virginity my sophomore year in high school. Oh, oh snap! You dirty dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to have the birds and the bees oh. talk to you. Yes. <laughs> oh, my slides. <laughs> Jadia. Not you. I bet dog. you didn't know that Adriel, wave your hand, is my little brother. That's my baby brother. Oh. And I bet you didn't know that I have seven boys. Okay. Oh, Mama's calling. Hold on. And she just called me too. Oh, 
<laughs> we're, we're we're taping. Uh, Janelle, you have any last request? Li last words? Um, conversation was amazing. Oh, I you love it. It Thank was like the guys. first time Thank we had you such a young crew on the on our show, and we want you guys back at some point. If you guys uh, want to come back, you guys are super fun. Are you? Do you want to come back, guys? Yeah, sure. I'll definitely sure. do it again. Sure. Oh, yeah, well, next time we're gonna have some twenty-year-old girls and see what they say. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys. Always, you and Jamalo is such a good panel for us, and we always thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge all the time. And with that note, peace out. Peace out. Peace out.